Welcome to a brand new bonus week here in GTA Online. We got some triple and double money bonuses we're going to go over today. A lot of different fun game modes to do as well. So not only are we going to make a lot of money, but we're going to have fun doing it, which is always good. First money method is casino free mode work. This is actually triple money in RP. What you need to do to start this up is call Miss Baker and then press the top option, which is request work. And then we're going to get a randomized mission. It's going to be a different one every time. Once again, each one is different. So there's a good chance you're not going to get this exact one we can actually throw sticky bombs inside through the window i think oh i aimed right here and somehow the sticky bomb landed all the way up there so what about oh, okay so now it's aiming right bro what it really doesn't want the sticky bombs to go through the window so let's blow everything up here is the last one all right so now we have to destroy the counterfeit operation so we can just shoot each one of these little things. Whoa, this one is pretty strong. So let me place a sticky bomb on that one. I don't think I could just shoot that one. All right, there you go. So these machines are a bit stronger. Just a couple more. We're going to have a big boom at the end. Let's blow everything up. And now we have to leave the area. Let's see if we have to do anything else. If not, this was extremely quick. And that was literally it. We got 18,000 bucks. I'm not even joking. That was like a minute and a half. It's pretty good. Yeah, 18K is not the most. For a mission that considering it took us two minutes, that's good. And it looks like there is a small cooldown timer. So very, very easy mission. Straightforward and everything. The next money method is a very fun one. So go into Rockstar Created Jobs. Go into Adversary Modes. And then find overtime shootout it used to be called overtime rumble not exactly sure why they changed the name of it but it's a lot of fun to do both with friends and randoms i'm sure you guys will get the hang of it after i show you guys how to play it team balancing on i'm gonna set it to two rounds but make sure you set it to four if you want we're starting off with two players so now it's a 1v1 but we might get more in a bit so what you guys want to do go down this huge ramp and then you want to press down on the left stick as you're about to get off the ramp and then press a or x if you're on playstation to pull the parachute so basically this is kind of like a flying car this is the ruiner 2000 if you guys don't know and you want to get the most points possible if you land right at the end as soon as you land you can't really control the car and your car yields a bit forward and you can't really control it besides turning and you want to get the most points possible so the max you can get each round is five i got four which is pretty solid and i don't think bear is gonna make it right here he didn't get enough speed or something and his jump was way too short so the platform is right there and you gotta land on it and try to aim for the most amount of points possible when you go and play this yourself you can definitely get a feel for how it is once you land on that platform once i land my car is gonna keep on moving a little bit and i can only turn that's the only controls i have so i'm gonna land on two and a half and then let's see i think that's five yeah the majority of the car is on five the majority of the car is on five so we got five points on that one we got nine total and he got zero points in the first little jump right there and of course you can control the car as you're parachuting as well it looks like he's gonna get five points wow he almost fell off that was a pretty flawless round for the both of us i think if you have more than two players then you start on opposite sides and then you have the five points in the middle i'm gonna land on one and i'm only gonna get three on this one that was not the greatest landing i only got three the majority of my car was on three but if he gets a five pointer right here it's only 12 to 10 and we got a very close game then he's dropping oh he went too far he went too far he missed time the jump or he missed time the landing i should say and he got zero points that was huge for us that was a huge mistake on his part so i think the strategy with this specific map is to land on two and a half or like three and then oh my god we were about to fall off there but we got the five pointer and that's that round one we got 16,000. that was actually a lot of fun and we got 16k in just a couple minutes that's not bad or close to three so there you go that was good that was good oh i think that's four uh the majority of my car was on four it's four to nothing right now let's see what he could do oh he oh my goodness he absolutely flopped that there's no way he's gonna make it to the platform. No, he just screwed himself so bad. He just screwed that so bad. <laughs> he just gave up. So that's what you don't want to do. Once you're about to lift off from the ramp, you definitely don't want to press the left stick too early because then you're just gonna land right on the bottom and then you can't really go up or do anything at that point. I'm gonna pull the parachute. That's another good jump right there. 
That, that's gotta be a five. Yeah, that's a perfect five. He's gonna miss it. Oh, he's gonna crash into the platform and fall in the water. And that's another zero right there. I think we've pretty much secured this. The round is over now. We won those two rounds. We made a really quick $37,000 in total. I think that took like eight to 10 minutes. So not bad. Definitely a really fun game mode. And you make 37K just like that from two simple rounds. So I'll take it. Definitely pretty solid. If you set it to the most amount of rounds possible and you have a lot of people, it's just gonna go on longer and you're gonna make a lot more money at the end. I definitely think you can make a few hundred thousand bucks if you do it efficiently and long. I think these are the six different maps. There's different variations of it, which I do like. If you are finding this video helpful so far, drop a like on it, subscribe if you're new, and let's keep going. This one's also double money in RP, so go into Rockstar Created Races, and then all the open wheel F1 races are double money in RP. I think you can set it up to 20, but honestly, it gets draining if it's more than like five laps. Maybe 10 is fine for some people if you're just chilling with friends. I went with the BR-8. They all have similar performance, but I think the BR-8 is the best. I'm not exactly sure. If anyone knows in the comments, let me know. But I got the boost on that one, and I'm already up to second place. If you don't remember, the traction on the F1 cars are... Oh, I just ruined my car already. I'm gonna have to make a very early pit stop which is not good someone is already like long gone no we got a second place secured right here lap four i'm gonna make a pit stop and then we're good for the remainder of the race let's make this nice turn oh that was nasty all right and i didn't even mention this but you do have a boost if you press down on the left stick from the second lap on so the first lap no one has a boost and then once you make it to the second lap and i crashed my car again you gotta be kidding me once you make it to the second lap you can have that boost when you press down on the left stick i need to make another pit stop because i crashed and somehow the entire front of the car is just gone so third place is catching up because i had to make pit stops and crashing and all that he's gonna try to steal second place but no second place is mine i'm sorry that was a nice turn let's see about this one okay another nice turn as i said once you get the hang of it you can actually just zoom past these turns just like that just like that that was perfect you see the fifth lap i already have everything in mind and I know what I'm gonna do, so. The whole race was about seven minutes and we got 13K. As a money method, I don't think it's as good as the first two, but if you do like these kind of races, you can definitely have some fun with them, even though the payout isn't as good. There's also double money if you guys go into the Rockstar Created missions and you go down to the last play Gerald missions. All of them are double money in RP, as you guys can see, so here they are. There's six of them total and they're all pretty basic missions, nothing too complicated with them. If you wanna see the best businesses for beginners in GTA, online click the video on screen now i hope you all enjoy that video and peace